What's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. And today I've got my hands on the most powerful smartphone you can get for under $500. So this is the Xiaomi Mi 6 smartphone. The phone is a beast and has been compared to the latest Samsung Galaxy S8. This phone is in fact faster and cheaper than the S8. Xiaomi is actually one of the biggest tech companies in China. They are huge and their products are generally superb quality and they thrive on innovation. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So you have a beautiful 5.15 inch full HD IPS screen with 428 PPI. The CPU is a Snapdragon 835 octa-core running at 2.45 gigahertz. The GPU is an Adrebo 540 running at 653 megahertz. You got dual 12 megapixel rear cameras with optical zoom and front camera is 8 megapixels. You got 6 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi supporting BGN and AC. You got NFC, IR Blaster, fingerprint sensor and Bluetooth version 5. This is running MIUI 8 based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Also the Mi 6 comes with a 3350 milliamp battery which is a higher capacity than what you get with the iPhone 7 and S8. Um, and the fact that it supports Quick Charge 3 means you can charge your phone up very quickly. And of course it's got USB Type-C charging. So this is everything you get in the box. We'll begin with the instruction manual. So you've got your pin for your SIM tray and you've just got basic instructions here which you're probably not going to need. USB power brick here. The actual charger, it's Type-C. So here's your USB Type-C charging cable. And just like iPhone 7, you've got a 3.5mm headphone adapter here. You're going to need this adapter if you want to use a wired headphone connection. But I think the best option is Bluetooth. And also, this comes with a silicon case. Last but not least, the Xiaomi Mi 6. And here it is. So I'm going to peel off all the stickers. The fingerprint sensor on this device is absolutely amazing and unlocks first time every time. You have three touch buttons on the front which are home, menu and back buttons and they all are extremely responsive and feel great to use. The build quality is amazing and I absolutely love how you cannot see the edge of the screen at all. Cannot easily see how the screen and the bezels meet. Beautiful design and feels awesome in the hands. On the right you will find your volume rocker and power button and on the left you will find a dual nano sim card tray. So at the bottom we have a USB Type-C port, microphone and loudspeaker and on the top of the device we have another microphone and an IR blaster. So let's check out some web browsing. I will search for the Nissan website as that is a very graphic intense site which contains loads of photos and videos throughout the pages. Browsing websites is great, the websites look stunning and everything loads up quick and navigation is very smooth. You can really feel the power of the phone when you load a video from within the website. The video immediately plays and you can continue scrolling the website whilst the video stays at the top. That is just an example of raw processing power there. Okay, guys. Once again, this MI6 impressed me in streaming YouTube videos. The YouTube app loads almost instantly and you're ready to stream videos at 1080p. The video quality and the sound coming from this is absolutely outstanding. So moving on, this device can handle any game from the Google Play Store and here are a few examples.
In the Wi-Fi speed test was able to achieve a total download speed of 38.87 and upload speeds of 10.30 megabits per second. I have a 40 meg broadband connection so this device can achieve amazingly fast Wi-Fi speeds. And in the Antutu benchmark test the Mi 6 was able to achieve a total benchmark score of 179,307. So if we compare that score to the current best 2017 flagship smartphones available to buy, you will see that the Xiaomi Mi 6 is in number one with the best score. As I do on all my devices, I ran this test three times and 179K was the highest score I got. I have actually seen the Mi 6 achieve up to 184K on the benchmark score. So the Mi 6 is a clear winner and it's one of the cheapest phones on the list. Coming to the cameras, you have two 12 megapixel shooters on the back, which you can take amazing photos with. You have lots of options and settings to play around with, and the overall results are great. Here are a few sample indoor photos I've taken with this phone. So there you have it guys, that was the Xiaomi 6 smartphone. I needed a new smartphone and after all the research, my decision was between this Mi 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm really happy with my choice, I've been using this phone for around a week and this is now my new daily driver. The iPhone 7 has been put away, so far I'm really liking this phone. I can do everything I want on this phone with amazing speeds, Wi-Fi speeds are super fast, 3G and 4G speeds are great, GPS navigation also works very well and is very accurate and I use it every day. The battery life is outstanding, easily lasts a day, before I go to sleep I still have 30 to 35% battery left and that is after a day of heavy usage. Another awesome thing is Quick Charge 3. This phone can fully charge from 0 to 100 in 90 minutes if you use the Quick Charge 3 charger. The build quality is brilliant, the phone is made from 4 sided 3D curved glass and finished in high gloss stainless steel frame and the phone feels amazing to hold. This concludes my video and with that being said I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. If I can get hold of a coupon discount for you guys I will leave it in the description so you guys can get a nice discount and grab what I think is the best smartphone of the year so far. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.